What's up, Tube? Dan at it again, right here in the garage. Um, anyways, I'm coming to you on a Saturday. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that. Um, coming, home, coming to you on a Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to get things organized here for this transmission swap. So um, I got the transmission in the uh, in the trailer, and I'm trying to gather all the parts. But if you didn't notice, I've uh, been doing a lot of work, a lot of gathering on this car. But Anyways, before we get into it, hit that like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notification. Uh, this is about that look what I found turbo car that we're trying to do. But uh, let's get into it. I'll show you some stuff. So first things first, and you probably see in these pit, these with these wheels on the the community post that I made. Man, them a 1710 deep dish. I like those. And these are 179 fronts, but these tires are brand new. These wheels literally are brand new. They had like 250 miles on them or some shit. But, uh, you know, they're, they're like a matte black, satin black, satin black, I think it is. And these are the SVE wheels that you get from late model. But anyways, I just wanted to see you guys' opinions. I did throw the number up there, or the, the picture up there on our community tab. I just wanted to see you guys' opinion on, you know, should I put the deep dish on the back of that turbo right there? I mean, this is, you know, I ain't got a million dollars, folks. Did you be, just be choosing shit? on the fly and you know I don't want to convert this to five lug and all that stuff I'm doing a budget stock block build turbo we're gonna make 400 wheel and beat the snot out of it just like I did with the black car years and years and years ago I'm trying to go back to my roots anyways let me know what you think 275 40 17s uh, what are these in the front 255 40 17s in the front that's a great combo great stagger but you know I got my Cobra my 0304 Cobra wheels on here which the tires are shot in the front and the rears are really nice but I can put those on my dad's car uh, he's got a Fox too, and he's looking for some new tires in the rear. So I was thinking just switch the tires over, you know, and be done with it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Leave comments in the uh, below. Uh, please be respectful. Anyways, uh, you can see some of the parts that I picked up. Now, this isn't exactly the best thing, but you know what? This ain't got to look pretty. Uh, we'll probably paint that black, but this is the one, one of the turbo. Um, we, I rebuilt that turbo years ago. We went $9.99 with that turbo on a stock bottom N302. With tur I mean, literally, our wastegate was shut the whole time, so I know it works. I uh, got a new shifter this weekend. b and I'm not a big fan of the... It's whatever, man. It was free parts for the most part. Got a couple 202s. This stuff's ready to go on, but what we're focusing on today is our clutch and our flywheel. So we've already got it set up in here. Um, I messed with the rear main. And uh, I'm going to put the flywheel and block plate on and hopefully have this whole transmission and drive line in for the day. Um, you know, with the, that, that badass little axle I got, I just built for it. So, um, but yeah, we're just going to go with a factory. Uh, you know, I got to put the pins in it, but I'm just going to go with a factory flywheel. I had to clean this clutch up. This clutch came with that car I just pulled in. I actually scrubbed it with brake cleaner and scotch brite along with the, uh, the pressure plate. Literally, this this clutch and pressure plate unit didn't have any miles on it. Bell housing's nice and clean. Those parts are ready to install, so we're ready to get busy. Um, I want to say that I think the aluminum drive shaft's right there. That's what we're going to put in it. But anyways, that is what we're going to do. I'll throw up a video after I'm done. Couple couple tricks of getting the transmission in. Um, and I may save that video for another day, but... Um, if you got a buddy, like when you're putting the T5 in, okay, all right, and she don't made up against this, the back of this, this bell housing, have somebody take a crowbar, long crowbar, persuader bar, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I have one that looks like a screwdriver, but it's super long and it's, it's like a crowbar. Anyways, when this, when this, uh, fork is inside of this bell housing here I'm gonna do it like this anyway you can actually engage the clutch manually with a crowbar what that does is it allows the T5 to actually move and the clutch disc to actually move so the T5 can mate up against this the worst thing you can do is have a gap and try to draw it up don't do that that's a terrible idea anyways but this uh, center force clutch is practically brand new. I'm just gonna go back, you know, skip that and go on this. 
And I've put 500 wheel to these for years. I actually have many passes in my videos with this same exact clutch. So this should just do exactly what we need. You know, use block plate, no big deal. We're not trying to light the world on fire with this. We're trying to be realistic and, and budget minded just like everybody else. All right, so here's a trick I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, I got drill bits out and I got a drill out because uh, here's the alignment pins. There's usually three of them in a the flywheel, at least on a Fox body, 10 and a half inch. Now this helps you align it, helps you, you know, kind of helps it keep it in place or whatever. Anyways, uh, right here's the bosses for them. And this one's actually goes in nice and clean. As you can see, I'm bringing through the bottom. But some of these clutches, they go in real tight. And now, this has actually been cleaned already, but, like, you might come into a problem where you can't get it to go in. Uh, these things break all the time. And they're actually a good safety feature, and they're a good alignment thing to have. So, you know, if you can retain this like it is factory, then it's always a good thing, you know. So, one of the tricks is, you know, you just take a drill bit, and you just, you know, you just drill that boss out. You know, you just clean it out, and you're not trying to... And then go crazy with it and then you can see it goes in a lot easier see and it didn't even move all you're doing is you know kind of making a little bit of area or whatever so i just wanted to show you guys that real quick you know real quick trick <laughs> trick when you're doing a t5 swap or putting a clutch in or whatever because you don't want to bang it on because when you go to take it back off if you ever have to then you're going to break these little pins and then you won't have them What's up, Tube? I'm back on Sunday. I actually had to take a pause because I had some family events going on, so I uh, apologize about that. But anyways, I uh, got a fresh flywheel here like we were messing with yesterday. I got my pins in the right spot. You can see I marked them because they only go in one spot now and because there's six clutch bolts, uh, pressure plate bolts, and then there's, of course, these flywheel bolts. We had to change a pilot bearing because if you remember correctly, this ride had a stupid 2.3 trans in it, which is fucking stupid. I mean, it works, but not for very long. And we ended up putting a uh, new pilot bearing in. I put a little blue Loctite on these uh, six factory flywheel bolts because you know what? I've made stupid horsepower on stock parts for years, and there's nothing wrong with them as long as you torque them. Um, I got to clean this flywheel up and put the new center force, well, newer, newly used center force clutch in. Get it all lined up, get the bell housing on and the fork and the throw out bearing, and then we're going to put the uh, trans in by ourselves, I think. Stay tuned. All right, so I think we're ready for the transmission. Uh, put a good used energy suspension mount on it. Um, this is a transmission that I put together a while ago uh, in my other videos. Uh, we, we already got the bell housing in. Um, we went ahead and put the clutch in, um, the fork. One thing you guys got to make sure you put the throw out bearing on the outside of these blades of this fork because I've seen people put them inside and it just wreak havoc and they don't know why their clutch doesn't engage. And always make sure that these little fins here, those little fins right there, aren't bent out or warped or whatever because it's supposed to be tight against that ball. So it's got a nice little pivot or whatever. But anyways, I got everything aligned up. I got this bell housing all nice and tight all six bolts or whatever and we are ready for our transmission yo all right so we got this transmission in i wanted to show real quick what i was talking about in my earlier in my other video like i didn't even i put this in myself i mean i didn't even you know it's sat it's sitting up nice and flush i uh, had everything lined up and it just happened to click in but sometimes it doesn't like to do that so what you want to do is have a big pry bar ready see this shit right here and just engage the clutch and you would just go in here and just like literally just engage the clutch and it would it would loosen the axle see i just pulled it all the way in it would actually loosen up the clutch enough the disc enough to set this in so uh that's what i was talking about early in the video i mean you could put the shit in yourself i mean i do work out a lot but it's not that damn heavy you know uh it's dangerous because if it doesn't want to go in you just you know you quit and you go get somebody else Safety's always yeah. first what do you guys think? 17 by 10s, six and a half backspacing. It's got a good stance to it, got a little lip to it. I like it. I've got that little gap right there, ain't gonna ride. I'd be really close if I didn't have a half inch spacer there. But you should hammer that in a little bit anyways, but you know, this is not a stance video. I just wanted to show you. I went ahead and put them on. They had, I mean, they're brand new fucking wheels, man. They came on that other turbo car. And I think the wheels look good. I mean, it's a flat black. It matches the hood, matches the 5.0 symbol we did. And I mean, hell, all we gotta do is tin it. Anyways, this is a drive line video. Let's get into it. 
Uh, if you made it this far, make sure you hit the like and subscribe or whatever. So um, one of the things we did is we leveled the, leveled the engine. You can see I just used the reference for the oil pan in the rack or whatever. Because uh, and then we locked down the motor mounts, which we ended up using convertible motor mounts instead of prothane and all that shit. We'll probably end up beating the fuck out of those, but that's all right. Anyways, uh, all the drive lines done. It's uh, all locked down, all six bolts. Um, got some goodies from Hamlin Motorsports. Give a shout out to Bob and Linda. Love their shit. I've been I've been ordering their shit for years. She's always taking care of me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Uh, triple hook UPR. Really like the UPR's uh, adjuster, uh, firewall adjuster because it's got, you know, it's thick, it's strong, it's sturdy, it's aluminum. Um, you know, of course, having an adjustable cable is really important because you get the, you know, you get the finite that uh, that's that that clutch adjustment or whatever. So, anyways, it's all there, guys. Got the drive shaft in finally. Always use blue Loctite back here, 12 millimeter. Um, all we got to do now is put some fluid in the in the axle, finish our brakes, and uh, I bet you guys can't guess what the next fucking video is. Anyways, um, you know you got your VSS done here. I got to put the screw in there. Hey, we got to put that screw in there. But it's got the uh, the plastic for the 355 gears, and I mean we're ready to rock and roll here, boys. VSS, reverse light switch, neutral safety. So that's a driveline update. Um, next video, make sure you guys keep hitting them clicks. His next video is this. This also came with the new turbo car that I got the other day, which you guys seen in the videos uh, or pictures on the community. Uh, brand new tank. I'm just going to send it. I'm just going to send it, guys. You know what I mean? I, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to end up doing the video for the mod. As you can see, I got two 340s here. I'm not using either one of these. Uh, cause I've actually already got the mod done, but I want to start over. So what I'm going to probably end up doing is using this as a reference because we're just going to actually start from scratch because this is a brand new hanger. Uh, it's perfect. And we'll talk about that when the video comes, but again, you know, hit the like and subscribe boys. And, uh, we will continue on this fucking project that we got going on this old turbo project.